Hi, I'm Brian, service manager at Whole Latte Love, and today I'm going to show you how the BZ Group works. All right. We've got a few machines here with the BZ Group, right? Yeah, i got a couple here for you. i got to see some of the different setups. Uh, so, does everybody know what a BZ Group is? We're about to. Yeah, you are. <laughs> so, BZ Group is just that. It's a Bezerra Group Head. Uh, it's a the, uh, the DE version, so for the electro valves. Mm -hmm. uh, meaning you're not like your E61s. You don't have mechanical levers that you have to move. It's all done electronically. Mm -hmm. So uh, basically, it will get to the uh, nitty gritty of the actual group itself. But first, mm -hmm. we'll just give a rundown of how it actually works. Now, you have your heat exchange type of uh, machine like the mm -hmm. BZ13. And you have a dual boiler version like the Matrix and Duo DE. We'll take a look at that in a sec, right? Yep. yep. Okay. Uh, for either one, both the overall concept is the same. You have a pump that moves water into the heat exchanger in this example and the coffee boiler and the matrix and duo. Uh, water comes out of the group head and hits a solenoid. Once that solenoid... Out of the boiler, right? Yep. Okay. So once, once that solenoid, the solenoid and the pump are activated when you press your brew switch mm -hmm. and the water moves out and Let's right into the there. back. And pick up right there. Right there. And it's going to go straight down on this style of the uh, BZ group. Mm -hmm. So I'll show you right here. We got one pulled right out. Okay. So. This is the heating block. You have a heating tube that goes, a uh, little heater that goes right in there to keep this at a se uh, set temperature, 95 degrees Celsius in this example. So it gets preheated running through here, and this also keeps the actual group head itself nice and warm. Mm -hmm. So underneath that, you have a gasket that keeps the water all in this chambered area right here. And you have these four little holes that disperse the liquid coming down and through your shower screen. Pardon my mess. <laughs> and that, that the heater, right? I mean, so it slides in the back. Yep. And it may have two on some machines, right? Yes. And some so may this, have one. yep. So like the BZ10 or the Matrix and Duo uh, both have two, whereas mm -hmm. the BZ13 only has one installed in it. Mm -hmm. uh, and you can also that have looks. different uh, rates of that's it, right wattage there. as well. You have uh, 50 watt, 100 watt. Uh, you can have either 100 between two or 200 between the two on the Matrix and Duo. Mm -hmm. Yep, that is your heating element right there. Okay. Okay. Now, one of the really cool things, so if you take this heating block off here, and we grab the group head off of the Matrix here, they're, they're the same thing. They're exactly the same. Yeah. Exactly yep. the same. Okay. This one's a little cleaner. A little cleaner. Yeah. A little cleaner. <laughs> okay. But the uh, the idea of how it works on this one is basically the exact same thing. It's just a different design because this is obviously hanging off the front of the face plate as mm -hmm. opposed to being hung by a bracket. Um, but as like we said before, you got your dual boiler. So you have water coming in from the pump through your flow meter down into coffee boiler. Mm -hmm. You have your valve to the group head right here, solenoid valve. Solenoid valve. When that opens up, you got water comes out, down, and into the back of the group head. And those heaters are back mounted back in here, right? Yep. The heaters so. are right at the end of these brown cords right here. You got one there and one right there. Okay. And you got a little sealant that they use to keep it in there, so in case you tilt your machine, they're not just going to slide right out on you. So on the back end of the head here, those heaters are kind of in there. Yeah, right? they're this. right about there, only in. Okay. Only a half inch or so. Quarter inch? Probably quarter inch. That yeah, makes more sense. Yeah, a little light down there, so that's not part of the actual group head. That's just hanging under it. Uh, but so in between, you have a very narrow chamber for anyone who's ever seen the uh, cutaways of the E61 group head and seen mm -hmm. how small those little chambers yeah. are. Uh, it's basically the exact same thing inside here. One of these days, I've got to saw one of these mm -hmm. in half so we can show See. you even better. Uh, but 
your water comes through here, and then again, goes from that down into here, mm -hmm. out the holes, out your screen. Now, a little difference over here, Matrix and Duo DEs, they, they don't use a thermostat, right? They, the heaters are controlled by the PID, but not yes. adjustable. Correct. Yep. Yeah. It's just uh, used uh, as like the using the relays in the system to send the power. Okay. Uh, but yeah, you can't adjust it on them. Okay. All right. Anything else we should know about these? Uh, units? Not really. That's about really all. They're pretty simple in theory. I, it's just there's a lot of uh, confusion about them. Nobody really knows what they look like. So, so but that's it. That's really all there is to them. There's a couple different pieces and they get preheated really well and water runs through it. I mean, yeah, <laughs> okay. that's, All keep right. it simple, right? <laughs> All right, Brian, thanks for taking us through the BZ Group. Yeah, not a problem.